Hey everybody, this is Daryl with the Daily Devotional for January 16th, 2012. Um, I'm going to title it uh, Martin Luther King, uh, Freedom and Blessings, and it is number 352. Uh, Martin, Martin Luther King's birthday is today, and instead of doing a Bible verse, I wanted to read uh, two of my favorite quotes from Dr. King. One is, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. That's a, a very important quote. Um, I think it's something we can uh, all respect and relate to. And uh, my other favorite quote is, I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted, every hill and mountain shall be made low, the rough places will be made straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall, shall see it together. Um, Martin Luther King uh, really was instrumental in the Civil Rights Movement, and um, it's something that never ends, and uh, he should uh, definitely be respected for that. And uh, he wanted equality and freedom for all. And uh, I can't help but think um, about how lucky we are and blessed, really, to live in the United States. We live in a country where we have freedom of religion. Uh, some countries, and a lot of countries in the world, they are not uh, allowed to, uh, to worship and praise publicly. So we, uh, having freedom of religion, our forefathers, uh, one nation under God, that was their intent, to have a nation where we could praise and worship God. And uh, sometimes when I talk to people, and I'm going to keep this video relatively short, uh, but a lot of times people will, I don't want to say complain, but they talk about a lot of the things that they don't have. And I think we should all uh, spend some time just to reflect on the things that we do have. Um, the, ver the mere fact that if you're watching this video, that means you have a computer, and you know what a luxury that would be, uh, that is, and what would be in some of these other countries, to be able to have access to the World Wide Web and talk to each other like this and do things like this where I can say whatever I want um, without any real fear of being in trouble. Um, you know, if you're living, if you're watching this video on a, and you're watching this on a computer and you are got it plugged into your electricity, that's a blessing. You know how many people around the world don't have electricity? They don't have food. They don't. They aren't able to go to school. Um, they don't have mothers or fathers, or they don't have access to uh, medical things. Um, we are very lucky. We live in a. We are blessed to live in this country, and whether you believe in your president or don't believe in your president, or you believe in Occupy movements or don't believe in Occupy mo movements. Um, Whatever, whatever is happening in the country, uh, you are so lucky to be here. There are nations where people are being dragged out of their homes for worshiping Jesus Christ. There's people, places that are being uh, dragged out of your homes and separated if you say anything about against your government. Um, so we are very lucky. So we do have a lot of blessings. Now that doesn't mean that we don't yearn for things. That doesn't mean uh, um, that our lives couldn't be better. But I think it's really, um, today's devotional, it's just about reflecting on the things that we do have. <clears throat> I watched a um, movie last night, and I know the name's going to escape me because I wasn't planning on talking about it. Um, but it was about a quadriplegic young lady who, uh, a girl got into an accident and became a quadriplegic, uh, and she, Lori Ellison, I think is her name, uh, she became a quadriplegic, and she was able to uh, do tremendous things, even ended up graduating from Yale, and she still is actively um, speaking to people about uh, being able to do things no matter what your disability. And the scene that uh, made me think of it is the scene in the movie where the two mother, there's two mothers outside in the emergency, or outside of the ward, I should say, and one says to the other one um, that you know, what does your kid got? And she was sort of very blatant asking these questions, like what, what happened to your kid? What kind of injury does your kid have? You know, um, boom. 
and the one mother didn't really want to talk about it too much, and then the other mother said, well, my daughter's in there too, and uh, the one said, well, I, my, my daughter can't talk or, or anything, and the other one said, well, mine's not even conscious, and right there in that moment of that film, you realize that her, everything that this mother's going through, that her daughter is quadriplegic, cannot talk, um, but is conscious, the other one's daughter is not conscious and you can just feel the blessing that said this person is blessed that her daughter through everything she's going through is at least conscious and can recognize the mother where the other one cannot so our blessings are all relative you may want a bigger house but you have a house there's people that don't have a house you may want to have a lot of money in the bank but you have some money in the bank and some people don't have any money in the bank so you understand what I'm saying there's nothing new but every once in a while we should be reminded to reflect on it so today, is, uh, as you face the day, let's face it with a moment of reflection to, to thank God for how blessed we really are with our friends, our family, um, things that we do have, and uh, that's a wonderful thing. And our biggest blessing of all is if you're watching this, if you have Jesus Christ in your life, you are blessed beyond blessings. So if you don't, I hope you'll think about it just a little bit more today. And... Join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for every blessing in our life. We thank you for people like Dr. King who go forth in the world. And he went in his time and fought for rights uh, for his people and actually rights for everyone in the world to be treated equal, not by the color of our skin, but the content of our character. We thank you for every blessing that you give us, and we pray for all those who are in need. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Bye.